All right. Into the Riverton power plant. Spooky. Okay. This is not the theming I was expecting, really. It's like some sort of like nightmarish, dreamy Game Boy hell. Which is a pretty good hell as far as hells are concerned. But dang, it it feels like all of California and Beijing's air smushed into one location. And like that's that's this I wouldn't recommend literally ever breathing ever again after being here. Like even after you like desanitize and like go home and like wash your entire body in like acid, it's still gonna be toxic. You're just you're just already dead. You just don't know it yet. Huh? Or I, I keep forgetting you have to like hold the shield. Like it looks like it's going to protect you. I guess it's because it's like held to the side. I don't, I'm just thinking like it's like a Zelda shield, and it's it's not. Wait, what? Oh wow, it actually protects your feet, even if it's. Huh, that's interesting. Should probably eat some of these. I don't think you're actually eating them, but I, that's that's just my head cannon. It's not wrong, it's just my headcanon. Oh man, there was an Undertale run at, um, at, uh, AGDQ this year, and it was, I did not think Undertale would be a good run, not because I don't like Undertale. I actually, I'm like, I feel like one of the few people in the world that's not like, Ew, Undertale! People like that game! I hate it! Somebody on Tumblr made fan art of Undertale! I have to hate it now! And it's like, uh, just please go in a hole and die. Um, but yeah, it it was just so nice because everyone was so excited and and this is gonna date the stream pretty bad. But the um, uh oh, there was a Metroid race they did and it was awful. It was so bad. Um, it was so awkward and terrible and um, just really poorly handled in every regard. And, like, nobody was having any fun. Um, they were yelling at the crowd to be quiet. One guy th threatened the crowd and had to be removed. Um, it was, like, it was really freaking bad. Uh, do not watch the Metroid race from this last AGDQ if you haven't seen it. It's, it's just a waste of your time. Um, anyway, the Undertale run came right after that. And I didn't think Undertale would be a good run just because, I mean, how, what do you do in Undertale? I mean, it's not like playing the beating the game at low level with no equipment is really that impressive because you if you're gonna play pacifist that's basically how you play the game anyway um but it turns out there's a whole bunch of really interesting skips and the guy was just having a lot of fun everyone's like hey it's naps to blue it's you know it's metaton except you don't see metaton in the run uh that's how crazy it is um like you see him on screen once and you just walk right past him. actually i think you walk through him it's kind of amazing and um everyone's just so energetic and having fun and it was great and it's like it just reminded me of back when people weren't idiots about undertale and people were like just you know oh hey this is great and everyone's like oh undertale i hate it it's great. I hate great things. I don't want to talk about things that are great because other people have talked about that. It's like, why can't people be like that for, um... Uh oh For stuff like... Wait, what? Oh, I get it. I get it. Like, imagine if people treated Call of Duty like they treated, like, freaking Undertale. Like, oh, Call of Duty, you can't talk about that. Like, nobody talks about that anymore. Because everybody talks about it, and like, wow. Ugh. I hate people's attitudes about some stuff sometimes. I blame Riverton. Riverton is making me grumpy. I don't know why. But, but yeah, it's okay to like nice things. Let me, let me, let me say that. It's okay to be freaking positive. I actually need to sit in this death mist for a bit to uh, energize myself. 
the polarity thing is really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a game where you need to like sit in a hazard, quote unquote, to heal like that, except in like, you know, games where you can have like elemental resistance and stuff. That was one of my favorite things that I discovered in uh, Final Fantasy VIII was when you could like heal yourself by casting offensive magic on yourself. Oh, oh, I, I get it, I get it. Okay, that's this again. Very easy couple plants after uh, that one that gave me some grief before. I guess let's just get all the way in there. It's 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 okay to play and like Undertale, kids. It's it's fine. Things can be good. It's that's okay. Ah, frick. Okay. There we. No, no. Yeah. There you go. Whoa! Don't, don't squish me, bro. This is not working the way I thought it would. Okay. Uh, what's this? Oh. Oh, I see. We want this one then. There we go. Very peaceful and simple one compared to uh, the one with the lasers that I just kept getting myself killed in. It's nice to have a break sometimes. That That's why f difficulty curves should not actually be, you know, just constant up, 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 up. Sometimes you need, like, you know, a boss, and then, you know, you need a little bit of calm points. You need, uh... You need to mix it up somewhat. Alright, so this time we do have to do the lens things. I guess it makes some sense that, like... I guess it's kind of, like... Some realism that, you know, not everything is freaking broken, because it's kind of silly. Realism in games is something very difficult to handle, right? Because, like, my biggest thing is when game devs will only include the worst parts of real life. Like, you know, there's nothing, like, like whimsical or, like, fun, like... Yeah, there's no footprints in snow, for instance. Like that's that's fun, that's neat. Um, but like you have to you have to um, you know you have to sleep every 24 hours and and you know I don't know, just stuff that negatively affects gameplay, but nothing that positively affects gameplay. Nothing just for fun. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of free to play games end up reinforcing that because they they include stuff like energy like. Oh, you're too tired to do this stuff, and like, you know, they include all of this negative realism, but there's nothing that's like, um, Metal Gear Solid does the kind of realism I'm talking about. Like, it does all of the stupid crap, like, um, like use your cigarette smoke to show lasers, and um, letting the old man die of old age in freaking. Um, the old sniper at the end in uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, uh, what else? I can't think of it. Uh, you can make the horse poop. You know, just dumb, amusing stuff that very often doesn't really have gameplay significance. And sometimes it does. Um, like the water pistol in Metal Gear Solid 4, or 5. Um, it destroys electronics instantly. And it's totally silent, uses, uh, has infinite ammo. It's like, just, you know, it's a fun kind of realism, because it's not, you know, it, it's more like uh, attention to detail than it is, you know, yeah, we gotta be realistic. You, 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 you jump more than two feet and you break your kneecap and it explodes and you, you know, you slowly die. And, you know, n no thanks. Anyway, just one more geome to go. All right. It's it's okay to not have just only the bad parts of real life in your video games. I think that's... Wait. Um. Oh! I just did this totally wrong. Hold on. Uh...
There we go. I was looking at the wrong colors. Okay, the vet should be redirected. That should do it. Geom, go home. Unless this is your home, in which case, go somewhere else. Yeah, he's just walking away, I guess. Everyone's so calm. Like, oh yeah, guys, um, a giant creature smashed my soybeans. Um, is anybody going to do anything about this? Is this is this a cause for concern for anybody else? Or is it just, I mean, my soybeans? I'm definitely concerned about the soybeans, not, you know, a giant billion-ton monster that could kill my entire family by sneezing in their general direction. Um, the soybeans, people, that's it, Mayor. The Ritten's thing back online. Geom should be leaving shortly. Uh-oh. That's not good. Hello? Hello? Mayor? Mayor? What's going on? Is White Forge already under attack? Quick! I better hurry back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's up, Traveling Bob? Say, Aleph, it's me, Travel Bob! Yeah, we already saw this. Ah, crap! So why I wish there's always like a button you can press to instant skip a combo. Um, Mega Dimension Neptunia Victory Two does that really well. Um, oh, he's, he's got a squash face. This character looks kind of familiar. It's the mayor! I just realized he's got the pomp. Amazing. Anyway, everybody at Whiteport is probably dead, so we got that to look forward to, which is nice. What's going on, White Forge? Wait. I think this is too far south, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's see what's going on. Hey, Solitary Oak. How you doing? Have you met your cousin, um, Professor Oak? <laughs> oh, crap. Wow, these fish. <laughs> you, you want to talk about the fish? Okay. Yeah, there's nothing interest. There's nothing of interesting, of interest to note here. That's yeah, it's nothing. It's fine. Okay. Well, hello, apocalypse. How you doing? <laughs> We're so dead. Whew. Oh, it was a dragon, not a sea dragon. It's, it looked like a sea dragon before. Oi, Aleph. Hey, I've got a message for you. The mayor said he needs to get the sun sunray spy or something going bonkers with the cannon things, eh? Drains powers up, come on, I'll take you on to mayor's car. Alright. I got it. Oh, Aleph, thank god you're here. What's going on? What's wrong with the cannons? Some spores got into the some spores got into the sunray spire and disrupting the pipelines that are charging the cannons. It's keeping from those monsters with everything we got. Aleph, I need you to go and redirect the energy flow so we can reach maximum charge. Redirect the charge to the four cannons. All right. And Aleph, these pipelines are shedding highly concentrated energy. It's the control room to overheat while you're in there. I won't let that happen. Be safe, Aleph. Is this the first time we've seen this guy in pixel, like, sprite form? All right, where are we going? Sunray Spire, is that this? No, that's the lighthouse. All right. Sunray Spire lobby. All right. Is this, like, the final area stuff, or... Well... It's the next platforming segment, so I'm gonna call this a video. Um, we'll see what's going on here. It kinda looks... It looks like Final Fantasy second to last area. There's usually, like, that one techno place, but it's not the final place, but it's pretty close. Anyway.